Thank you, Jesus. Welcome to church. <laughs> Amen. Thank you, Jesus. You know, in Exodus 33, verses 18, Moses said, I beseech you, Lord, show me your glory. Now, Moses wasn't asking for just another duplication of God's power. Amen. He was asking not just for a duplication, but he was asking for the creation. He was asking for the creator, not just the duplicator. In other words, he was not just asking, God, I want to see another demonstration of your power. He was like, I want to see the one, the person who's performing all this. I want, I want to get to know the one who's doing it. Hello? Satan knows God's got power. He knows God is Elohim, the creator, the one that's got the ability to do anything. But Satan does not know him, amen, intimately, personally. Praise the Lord God. And Satan's still going to go to hell after having known God's power. There's a lot of folks that have known God's power, but they've not known him. Is it possible? Yes, it's possible. People call on him all the time, and they say, I believe. When it's in reference to him doing something supernaturally for them. But when it comes to actually serving him and follow him, well, they have a faith, but they don't have a trust. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego had more than faith. They had trust. Amen? Because in Daniel 3, it records exactly that. In verse 17 and 18, they told the king, they said, King, let it be known this day, uh, the God whom we serve continually, uh, if it be his will, he'll deliver us from your hand in this fiery furnace. But if he don't, if in his perfect providence, in his sovereign uh, uh, mindset, if he sees fit for us not to be delivered from your hand or this fire, let it be known, though, we're not going to bend our knee and bow to the image of yours when your music sounds. Hello, we're going to serve him to death. Somebody shout, that's a difference in just faith and trust. Their faith got them thrown in the fire, but their trust brought them out the fire. Verse 27 said they didn't even have the smell of the smoke on them. Somebody shouts, you can have faith in God. And it'll put you in a fire. But your trust in God will bring you out of the fire. And you won't even smell like what you've been through. Look at somebody beside you and go, how you smell Look at your neighbor and say, you need some faith for breeze? <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So trust in God says, not only do we believe He can deliver us, but trust in God says, even if He don't, we still going to serve Him. Yes. Amen. See, not everybody that has faith has trust. Wow. Praise God. You see the difference? Satan believes and trembles. James 2 verse 19. He got more faith than most saints do modernly because he actually fears God. He trembles in his faith, but he still ain't saved. That means he believes God has all power and God can do anything. He believes that. But he's still on his way to hell and that's where he's going. They think he can do about it. 